this is Vargas XX78 uh, back again with a quick pickup video just wanted to share with you guys the stuff that I've gotten since the last video that I recorded so uh, trying to keep it short so I'm going to go as fast as I possibly can uh, first off I picked up oops I have this damn thing upside down picked up this really cool uh, Batman v Superman uh, keychain thing oh you can make it up without with the glare has Batman Superman and then has the Batman Superman logo. Uh, this is actually from the comic book, not from the movie itself, but uh, I thought it was a neat little thing to have and uh, I can just put it on somewhere. Uh, also, I uh, went to Snippolis. I uh, went to Snippolis and I picked up a Fast 8 3D cup. I thought it looked pretty cool. And they also had uh, this uh, keychain, this little metal keychain. It says uh, Fast 8 on the back here. And um, I'm not 100% sure what this is. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I picked it up. Uh, also, I uh, love Doctor Who. I watch Doctor Who. Uh, the 11th Doctor is, is my favorite Doctor, followed by the 10th Doctor. Uh, but oddly enough, I don't have any Doctor Who stuff. I, I have wanted to add things, uh, especially a sonic screwdriver. I do want to add a, a sonic screw, screwdriver to the collection. But uh, I went to an overwheels uh, and I found this uh, little TARDIS. It's a uh, TARDIS that had a, and it has uh, some dice. You'll be able to make it up, some dice there. And uh, doing some research online, I figured out that this is a 50th Doctor Who anniversary Yahtzee game. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the Yahtzee game is supposed to have five dice, and this one only has three. But still, uh, it's a neat little TARDIS. I didn't have a TARDIS, and now I do. So, super cool. Uh, also, I my beautiful wife got for me... Some Star Wars stuff. She got me this Disney Infinity Chewbacca figure. And this Disney Infinity 3.0 Obi-Wan figure. Uh, she knows I love Star Wars. She knows I collect pretty much anything uh, to do with Star Wars. Uh, but these specifically uh, work great for the uh, Disney Infinity video game. And I have, uh, I have them as collectible figures because they are actually pretty detailed. And they are pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, she, she also got for me this really kick-ass uh, Darth Vader baseball cap. So, you know, whenever I want to go out, I can go out in style with my Darth Vader baseball cap. So, thanks so much wife. I love you for uh, my baseball cap and my Disney Infinity toys. Also, I picked up these goggles. Uh, these goggles that flip up. So the plan is, uh, these will not replace the Professor Macabre goggles. You see there, and then they, they close. Uh, they're kind of supposed to be welding goggles. Obviously, uh, I don't think these things are legit. They are apparently only for cosplay purposes and uh, uh, for playing but I, I like how they look they look very cool they, they do that thing so I'm, I'm thinking of using this for a costume uh, so that will hopefully work out uh, pretty well also I don't remember talking about these uh, if I have I apologize but I don't remember uh, but I picked up some more goggles these have a red tint to them, and they look like they're a little crooked, like they, they didn't come out of the production line very well, but uh, they're nice, simple goggles, you know, goggles that you can just wear in your top, like this. Uh, I don't know, I was thinking something like, uh, if I ever cosplay as a Phantom Zone criminal, I, I, that's what I thought of. They look like Phantom Zone criminal goggles, uh, but it's always nice. You know, for someone that likes Halloween to have costume options. Also, uh, went to a... Uh, it's a pharmacy slash um, 
place where you buy stuff for the home and stuff like that. And I found these. Now, uh, Boomco, Boomco unfortunately does seem to no longer be a thing, which sucks because I, I really like the, the design of the blasters. And I really like the ammo. Uh, so here in Mexico, the blasters are still very expensive. But uh, something that Bo Boomco stopped doing is that they stopped releasing the uh, smart stick targets. So I found these uh, smart stick targets. Uh, they are stickers that are made from a special material where the darts stick to. So these originally cost 95 pesos, which would be about... Uh, 475 give or take and they were 90% off and I got them for uh, 10 cents let's say 10 cents uh, 15 cents tops so I got one smart stick smart stick target and I got two smart stick targets these babies uh, are packs of five so I can pass it up um, I found them cheap and hell yeah I went for them because uh, most Boomco blasters don't have uh, smart stick targets anymore, so had to nab them up. Also, I picked up a WWE a World Heavyweight Championship. I'm sorry, this is a World Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And uh, World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. The big uh, gold belt worn by Ric Flair, uh, Edge, The Undertaker, Batista... A whole bunch of champions wore this belt. Obviously, this is a kid's toy. It's not the official replica uh, that's obviously bigger and made out of actual metal. Uh, but on the back it says it's uh, 2003, so it's pretty old and it looks pretty cool. I actually quite enjoy it. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a psychological thing, I guess, but you know... Sporting a belt makes you feel, you know, like a champion. At least it, it does to me. And um, I bought it and I took it to work and everyone was like holding the belt like, you know, they were champions. So it's not just me. Everyone sees a belt, you know, shoulder set and they feel like a champion. And, you know, for something that came out 14 years ago, it's incredibly well preserved. The plastic here is in good shape. It's not missing any one of the diamonds. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I thoroughly was surprised when I found this baby, and I'm super happy that I found it and bought it. Also, uh, a friend of mine from work gave me this Metallica artwork. This is No Leaf Clover artwork. And he gave it to me, and I am super, super happy and grateful that he did, because he knows I'm a big Metallica fan. And he's like, I have this, um... I don't really use it, I'm trying to clear up space, and I know you're a big Metallica fan, and you you like comic books, and this kind of looks kind of comic booky. You want it? I was like, hell yeah, pass it along, I'll give it a good home. And he did, so thanks so much for that, buddy, for this uh, Metallica artwork. Also, uh, way back in the day, I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm still kind of into Yu-Gi-Oh! I just, you know, haven't ca uh, caught up with... Uh, the rules and all the cards, because Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, if you really get into it, it's expensive, because you have to buy the expansion packs, and uh, the cards, the really good cards, are, are really hard to come by, and when you do come uh, come across them, you know, they're already sold separately, and they're really freaking expensive, but I like Yu-Gi-Oh, I like the game, it was easy to learn, it was uh, easy to master, if you had the right kind of deck. And uh, the anime was su super cool. And one of the things I loved about the anime uh, was the Battle City uh, run where they introduced the dual discs. I thought that thing was, was freaking amazing. amazing, I'm sorry, because they introduced the rules uh, that were more closely to the card game itself. So the Battle City thing and, and the Shield of Oracal uh, Awake the Dragons that had the whole Shield of Oracalcos thing, those are my two favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, segments. So... I already have a dual disc. Uh, I have the Battle City dual disc. Let me show that on first. Uh, I took it off. It's the Battle City dual disc. And uh, it's really cool. This is the original one I had. I love it. It's uh, great for costuming. It's great for playing. Uh, and those things are out of print. It's really, really hard to come by because they don't sell them new anymore. One in box uh, fetches a pretty penny. 
even a loose one uh, can go for a, a nice uh, a nice bank. Uh, so imagine my joy and surprise when I found another dual disc. This is another Battle City dual disc. It lights up just like the original one I have. As soon as I find the freaking button, push this button over here, and it lights up. It has your life points and everything. And just like my original dual disc, you can do it in standby mode. Press a little button here, and you're good to duel. So it's it's super cool. I've never come across another dual disc except the one I had. So when I saw this baby and the other one I I picked up, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna pick it up because I never see those. And I picked up the Chaos dual disc. This is. From the Wake the Dragons, the Sealed of Oracalcos uh, dual disc. And I love it. I love this design too. This thing opens up. It's, a, it's compact and when you need to duel, just it's not spring powered unfortunately. But you pull this baby out and you're good to go. You can duel. And I like the really sharp design of this. And just like my other dual discs, this one also lights up and the rooms here light up so I thought this was a freaking cool I could not pass it up I got it dirt cheap I got both of the additional dual disc for two bucks I was like here take my money and gimme 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 also I finally added a Darth Maul double lightsaber uh, it's one of the lightsabers that I was missing unfortunately this one doesn't have any sound effects just extends like so Stands like so, and lights up, and I can't show the thing on full frame, but uh, I've been hunting for a Darth Maul double lightsaber. A bummer that it doesn't have any sound effects, but I don't care. I, I needed this. I needed this double lightsaber, and now I have it, and I am super, super happy because I collect lightsabers. Uh, because I love Star Wars. Also, another lightsaber I was missing, and I didn't realize I was missing is Luke's green lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi specifically has a lot of nostalgic value for me, so um, I, I was honestly surprised I didn't own it. This one is one of those extendable lightsabers, but this one does have sound effects and it does uh, light up. The problem is that the blade doesn't go all the way down, but it doesn't matter, I love it. And I also found a blue Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. Uh, also lights up, has sound effects, and uh, I couldn't pass up this lightsaber because while I do already own a Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber, uh, I, don't, I thought this was cool, so I picked it up. Also picked up a green a sonic green uh, stock. I think it might be for a recon. I'm not 100% sure. But I like these kind of stocks. And uh, they're cool. They can hold a magazine there. And just, you know, shoulder it. It's super cool. Picked up, going back to Star Wars, picked up a first order uh, Stormtrooper Blaster. This is basically a reshelled Rampage. Uh, stock goes here, I'm sorry, the ammo clip goes here, you pump it like this, and you shoot. But this is of course First Order from Star Wars, and anything that has to do with Star Wars, I'll pick it up. The stock goes here, if I had a white one it would look even better, but, you know, I have a, I don't have actually a Stormtrooper helmet, but I am working on that. Also picked up a Star Wars Han Solo Blaster. This is a 1996 uh, Han Solo Star Wars Blaster. Lights uh, has, I think, I don't think this has any lights, but it does make sound effects. I did put some batteries, and I like this one better than the Super Soaker one I got. Because the Super Soaker, Super Soaker one has the sights uh, like here, and this one like in the movie it has it here. So it's more accurate to the movie. Uh, it has beautiful uh, sound effects, and it's a Star Wars blaster, and you know me, I pick up anything and everything that's Star Wars related. Also, 
finally added a whip blast to my boom co collection i've been looking for a boom uh, whip blast uh, i love the look of this blaster uh, i love the functionality unfortunately it has a dart lock so i can't put a dart without a dart the thing won't work right but this thing you whip it pull it back and you shoot it's a thing of beauty i've been wanting a whip blast for so long and I am super happy that I finally found a Boomco Whip Blast. And the last thing I'm going to show here, uh, for my Vortex collection, I picked up a Nerf Vortex uh, Rebonix 360. This thing is a beast. Uh, well painted. Uh, this thing would look awesome. Uh, you put the discs here. It has internal magazine. You crank this baby, which I can't because it also has a uh, dark lock. You can put a stock. This thing could look like a beast, and I love it. I love the look of it. Uh, even though the priming is, is kind of is crunchy, uh, because you have to prime it like this, and it sounds like it's crunching plastic on plastic. And then, it, But it shoots very well. It, it, like I said, aesthetically, it looks beautiful. I love the way it looks. Uh, it's a badass-looking gun, and... I, I love the aesthetic on this baby. Love it, love it, love it. It's like a badass uh, blaster that you can just bam. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, uh, that was the collection pick a video. I'm trying to keep it as short as I humanly can. I do want to find some more wrestling belts. I would love to find some more wrestling belts, uh, especially the Eagle belt. That's my favorite. Uh, belt uh, ever um dual disc i know that there's the dual academy dual disc that i'm that, that came out but I, the design on that one looks kind of weird uh my favorite one is the shield of oracalcos dual disc and i have it and i'm super super happy uh the dark ball double lightsaber is freaking amazing and the whip blast oh yeah so many so many ideas for this baby so yeah that was this pick up video uh try to keep it as short as i can thanks so much for watching guys please leave a comment talk to me about geeky stuff i i'm looking forward to talking to new people and all people that follow me uh thank you for every any view and comment that you leave uh until i see you all again which i will because i have to record a movie video which i'll also try to keep short uh and one more thing that i want to share but till then this is vargas xx78 thanking you all and signing out